can it rain forever? Sometimes it feels that way, doesn't it? Yeah, it's almost comforting, in a way, like it hides everything you don't want to face. Or maybe it's a chance to let go. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use the ultimate text-to-video prompt generator. To start, we'll click on Create a Film. It asks me what kind of movie I want to make. For example, I'll select Short Film. Here it asks what I want to create and what genre. I'll choose Romance. You can also mix genres. Now it's giving me some title suggestions for my movie. I'll pick the first one, Whispers in the Rain. If you don't like any, you can ask for more suggestions. Here it asks if I want a cinematic tone. Yes. You can put something different if you want, and it'll accept that as well. Now it's describing what the movie is about. And it starts detailing the characters. It's also showing me the scene titles. Let's start with the first one. Okay. Now it's going to start writing the script. It tells me this scene will take 1 minute and 30 seconds. Now it will complete it. Here it adds the dialogue. It's asking me to divide the scenes into parts. Yes, it's writing now. As you can see, it's breaking down the prompt into different sections. One for the prompt, another for generating images, and here it details the character description within the prompt. We're going to use this each time we generate, especially if we do it elsewhere. We need to copy the name and character details each time. Sometimes it doesn't include them, so we'll need to add them manually. Alright, it's still writing. I'll ask it to write more. 9. Okay, it generated more scenes. Now we'll generate images within ChatGPT, and I'll say please. Here it directly says create the first image. Perfect. Now it's added. Let's check if it has the details. The character. I'll use the seed ID and create the next image. Here, as you can see, is the girl. Now in the next frame, I'll put next image. Okay, there I've done the second character. Let's keep going with next image. This way, we'll make images for each scene. There are about 10 scenes. I'll check here to see if the girl is in the background. Yes, here's the guy looking at the girl. This is Emily. It looks like she's in the background. Here's a closer view. Okay, next image. That's the same guy as you can see. We'll do next. Not sure why it wrote something there, like dialogue text above the picture. I think so. I'll fix it later. Okay, next image. As you can see, it's keeping the characters consistent. Let's check the number. All right. They're talking here. Okay, let's move to another one. I think this is the last one. Okay, we've generated our images, which we can animate or download. For instance, in Minimax, but right now, I don't have credit. There, we can animate and add motion to the picture. In each prompt, we copy the camera movement. Copy this into the Minimax prompt and add the image. You can also do it directly by copying everything. If character details are missing, we need to add them to the prompt. When generating videos in Minimax, Clink.ai or Runway, the characters will be more stable and the quality will improve. Now when you animate, you'll see that the quality is quite good. I'll try one in Clink to show you. For example, I'll look for the camera movement prompt for that scene.
copy it here and generate it. Now it's generating. This will take a little time. Here I select only the second one. Good. It started fairly quickly. Here, I added her name, along with details about her clothing. Let's find the next one. Okay, I'll make one just with the camera movement. I wait for this to finish since it only allows three tasks at once. Okay, let's check the quality. Slow zoom, here it is. Let's keep generating more videos. Here she's entering, the guy is sitting and having coffee, another closer shot of the guy, he's reading, her face is closer, the tenth shot, they're together, depending on the script. As you can see, we can quickly generate a sequence of scenes. For one scene, we generate ten different shots, and it's fast. Now these images, if I download them, can be animated. Of course, this is just for demonstration, because the image size is more square, and you'd need a widescreen format for a video. But if you use Flux or another system, like Crea.ai, you can generate the same images in the format you want. Alright, I'm waiting for the videos to finish so I can show the final results. Here you can see that we've generated some videos in Minimax. This is the first one. It looks quite good. We used only the camera prompt from ChatGPT here. This is the entire prompt as text. Emily here is slightly different than she looks in the photo, but you can see it's the same person. In the second, we used another fixed camera, with Lucas in the back having a drink. He's here, and it also looks good. You can use this same image, change the camera movement, and create different kinds of videos. To replace this, I made another video using Pixverse, generating another one from the same photo, and as you can see, the animation is very good. It respects the prompt, and in Pixverse, you can do more things. The model is excellent, allowing lip sync, and it also supports 4K quality. You can comment, request, or ask about something if interested. Don't forget to subscribe as we upload new videos every 2-3 days. Bye-bye.